let's make something in Nomad Sculpt and then paint it in Procreate and maybe use a little bit of Blender. Okay, so my plan was to create an asset completely on the iPad and paint it and texture it and then make it ready to be exported to some other application like Blender or maybe Unreal Engine. I wasn't quite able to make it, but I got pretty close. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And the model that I want to work on today is a meat bone from Bonk's Adventure, for those people who remember that classic game. To get started, we're going to make a model in Nomad Sculpt, then we're going to export that model. Let's get started by deleting the sphere. We're going to create a cylinder. Once we've done that, on the left side, we'll choose Snap and we'll change the degrees to 90. That way we can get it rotated perfectly to the side. Then we can stretch it out using the small green handles. Then we can duplicate that same cylinder and we'll call that meat. Then we can go back in and change that name to bone and we will make it smaller and longer. We'll create a sphere. When we create the sphere, we can go up and use symmetry up at the top and make the planes section set to X and Z. That'll give us four spheres for the one sphere that we created. And then we can place them and they'll come out perfectly. We take a moment and get them settled in so that they don't cause some of the cylinder to pop out. Once we've done that, we can use the green check mark to validate, select the bone and validate it, and then select both of them and we'll use voxel merge. Voxel merge is gonna make them all one shape. I'm gonna rename it to bone. Then I'm also going to validate the meat. And with that, we have all of the primitives we need to make our meat bone. Zoom in and we can use the clay painting option. We'll go back up to symmetry and we will turn on all three axes. That way, as we paint on one quarter of the meat, the entire body of the meat will be shaped. This is actually pulling it out. So we're gonna use sub on the left side in the center to subtract. Then we can switch to smooth and we can go around our meat section and we can just soften it up. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do the same thing on the bone to get rid of some of those geometrically perfect corners. I didn't set my symmetry right so I'm going to go in and set all three planes for my symmetry and then undo. And then when I work on one side it'll actually do both sides of the bone and it'll also do both ends of the bone. All with one stroke. Really fast way to model. And there's my little meat bone. The next step is to save it and give it a name. I'm happy with that. So here's where things get tricky. I'm going to move down to the export section and choose OBJ. And then I click OBJ procreate and I get cannot import artwork. This model is missing UVs and is currently unsupported. So Nomad doesn't provide Procreate with the UV maps that it needs in order to paint textures. And for those who don't know, a UV map describes how paint on a 3D texture will translate to a location on a 2D image. If you don't have a UV map, you can't really paint on an object. So what we'll do is we'll go into Blender, we'll easily create some UV maps and some textures, and then we can come back into Procreate and paint to our heart's content. So we're gonna import the model to Blender, create UVs, create image textures on those materials, and export the model with UVs to procreate. Okay, so let's try that again. We'll go back, we'll choose OBJ, and we will export, but this time we're gonna to export to email. We could export to iCloud or use other methods, but we'll just use email because it's easy and it works on everyone's system. Now I'm popping into Blender in Windows, and I'm gonna import the OBJ file that I created. I don't really care about the MTL file, the material file that comes with it. I only need the OBJ file because the materials don't really transfer. You can see when it transfers from Nomad, it actually keeps the two pieces of geometry separate. And we can go about adding UVs by clicking on one of them, going into edit mode with tab, and then using smart UV unwrap. Then do the same thing for bone. Tab to edit mode, smart UV unwrap. And now we have the UVs selected. The next step is to create actual texture maps that Procreate can use. We're going to create an image texture that comes off of the base color. It doesn't really matter what name we give it. 
it doesn't transfer. It doesn't matter what color we give it, but I'm going to give it a color just so I can see. And then click new. Do the same thing to the bones material. Image texture, choose a color, click new. When you use export, I'm actually using the Wavefront object experimental. And now I'm going to use email to send that back to myself. Great. So now Procreate will be happy because we have what we need in order to paint on those 3D surfaces. Let's import the model to Procreate so that we can paint on it. So we can pull up the email that we sent from our export from Blender. And this one we can just port into Procreate and now there are no problems. But you'll notice it doesn't really transfer the material maps that I chose with my kooky colors. I can choose between each model and I can hide them and I can select which layer I wanna paint on. So I'm gonna start by painting on my bone layer. I'm gonna choose kind of a fun, stressed looking texture and an off-white color, and then I can just dig in. One of the things I love about working with Procreate for these is that you can get this really great kind of organic looking texture with pretty straightforward, very little effort. Just be creative with some of the brushes that they give you, maybe find some more on the internet. Next, I'm gonna turn on the meat and I'm gonna turn off the bone. Procreate will only let you paint in areas that you can actually see on the screen. So if there's another piece of geometry, it'll block what you're working on. I chose a red color and I dragged it on to fill the entire shape with that color. And then I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the bone. I'm gonna choose an interesting texture and a slightly different color. And I'm gonna go around and paint the skin of my meat which presumably is grilled and tasty. And then I'm gonna do the fat part that's gonna go just under the skin to make it delicious and juicy. So choose kind of a off-white color there. And then I'm gonna put the, the, tender, the tender meat bone meat in the middle. Give it a slightly pinkish color. And then I can bring back the bone, and there it is. I've got a quick and easy meat bone. You could stop here, and you've got a completed model in Procreate, but I'm gonna go back to Blender one more time so that I can complete the textures, just so that the whole thing feels finished. I'm gonna export the painted model, import the painted model to Blender, separate the geometry, and complete the metallic and roughness. We're gonna use Share, and then OBJ, and it'll let us export this time, we can't use our email. So we're gonna save it right on our device. If we go to the folder we saved it on, I saved it locally on my iPad. You'll find that there is a folder, Meatbone with UVs, and I'm gonna select all the files, the six images and the two asset files, and then I'm gonna email those to myself. Again, you could use different systems for transferring the files, like iCloud, or you could use AirDrop, but I'm gonna use email because I think people pretty universally understand that. Once you've done that, create a folder in Windows or Mac where you can load all of those files. I'm gonna call mine Meatbone Final and dump in those eight files, the two assets and the six image files. Then I'm gonna import from my folder that OBJ file. And the cool thing about this is the geometry will come in, but it actually has the most basic part of your material already attached to it. We have to do a couple of other things first though. You'll notice that when you bring it in, the geometry, the two parts, the meat and the bone have actually been merged as one object, but they still exist separately under that object. And that means they have two materials. So what we can do is we can separate these two by their material. Just go into edit mode. And if you look in the wireframe mode, you can see the bone is still there. Hit P and then choose separate by material. Once you exit edit mode, you'll see you have two separate objects. And now we can go through the process of adding the metallic and roughness parts of our material. For metallic, just drag out another image texture and open from your meat bone final folder, open meat metallic. And then we'll do the same thing for roughness. That's gonna give it the sheen that we want. Pull that in, another image texture, open, meet roughness. And now you can see the shine on there. Juicy, glistening meat bone, right? Then do the same thing with the bone. 
bring up image texture, open up bone metallic, image texture, open up bone roughness. And once you've done that, you can see a little bit of highlight on my bone. And there it is. Now it could be used in a video game or an animation, or it could be used repeatedly inside of some 2D work of art. Could do all sorts of things with it.